Today's video is going to be a dissection where I'm going to talk about what's going on in my head as I get a flawless on Goes On Badlands. I'm going to be using my normal class. This is definitely my tryhard class. This is the class I run when I run into a bunch of sweaties. And that is my stinger pistol in the middle. I got a bodyguard for my tray and I'm running ion grenade and jump pack. I considered running back to a medical droid because I want to make a medical droid video. Uh, you may have seen um, me do a stream on that. I had to delete the stream because I had somebody complaining about me talking too much trash. And I shouldn't be talking trash on stream. But anyway, the map starts. I'm going to be running straight up to the middle on the top. And I'm keeping an eye on my radar. If I see anybody get too close, I'm going to start walking. So I am not on their radar anymore. But as soon as I see enemy... See, I should have died right there. But these guys are not very accurate with their weapons. So... Immediately looking left because that's where the enemy's coming from. I don't see anybody, but I'm combat rolling in the cover in case they come up and overwhelm me. But my teammate's already pushing up the middle. So that's why I'm starting to run. I don't need to worry about staying off of radar because my teammates are already on radar. My teammate just died right there. So I know there's at least one guy. I didn't know there was two, but I figured I had a higher position on him and I can back up at any moment. So I went ahead and engaged him and won the gunfight. Now you can see by the radar that I got blue dots all behind me. So the enemy has... We cleared out the enemy from their spawn. They're spawning canyon and caves. And they, they usually like to congregate over here in this middle area. Take this one guy out over here. I'm going to try and stay high on this metal shield. And I see a guy on my radar. So I'm going to try to take him out. Finish him off. And I know there's a guy in the cave. And I'm going to throw an ion grenade to try and take him out. And uh, yeah, I threw it a little bit too early. I didn't even get the assist. But you can see now I'm going to pause the video. If you look at my radar, all the blue dots are kind of over to my bottom left. That means the enemy is going to be to the top right. So that's where I'm going to be looking. I'm on the vanguard now, so I'm walking, trying to stay off radar, and just being very aware of what's around me. But I'm pressing. Uh, normally, if I have teammates that are ahead of me, I'm not really going to pursue in that direction because I'm looking for kills. But in this case, I'm the vanguard. And uh, I'm ready to go. I got a jetpack. I got an ion grenade. I see a guy over here. Deploy my ion grenade. Drop him 45 health. And finish him off with the DLT-19. If you're running ion grenade because you're sick and tired of personal shields or enemy equipment, you might as well use it to drop enemy 45 health when you go in to engage him. Ion grenade is the most versatile card in the game, in my opinion. If you haven't seen my ion grenade video, you should really check it out. But anyway, I can see that my teammates are kind of pressing. A lot of them are up and to the right as you can see with the blue dots on my screen so i'm heading down the middle now i'm vulnerable I, uh, anytime you're in the middle you're vulnerable to people with their pulse cannons with this long distance i'm busting out my stinger pistol so i can get some really good accurate shots and look i got a kill i'm gonna finish off this guy who has no idea where i am the stinger pistol is great at long ranges it has very little spread, almost no recoil, and it doesn't build up heat. So in this kind of situation where the enemy is really far away, I want to hit him with some accurate shots. So bust out your stinger pistol. You get to shoot it for 7 seconds, and when you're done, it comes back after 10 seconds. Look, I got the assist. Great. So we're moving on. Now my teammates, they're all with me, and they're pushing forward. And like I said before, I like to be kind of by myself so I can get kills. These guys are going to be aggressive, so I'm going to kind of go back into a support position i get an assist i get a lucky kill but i'm pretty much just making sure that there's no flank and as you can see on my radar there's a flank in progress somebody just jumped up to this top middle section he may have seen me jetpack but i'm not going to tickle his radar anymore and just be patient and as you can see my patience is rewarded he runs by me not knowing or having any clue that i'm there and i get myself a little kill and a rocket launcher now that i have a rocket launcher i can be a little bit more aggressive there's a guy over here he is probably distracted by my teammates there's another guy down the corridor. He's not looking at me, so I'm going to take him out. And I get another smart rocket. And I'm going to press pause right now and talk to you about power-ups or coins. I just got two rocket launchers in a row. That's because the game, in its infinite non-randomness, is going to give everybody the same power-ups at the same time. I just got a rocket launcher. I got another rocket launcher. Chances are other people on the map are also in possession of a rocket launcher. So if you or one of your friends picks up a rocket launcher... Be watchful for enemies with rocket launchers. Same thing works with all the other power-ups. Now I get back to my teammate, and that's a good thing, because I'm about to enter in another gunfight with that guy's partner, and look at this. <laughs> okay. How am I still alive? I have no idea, but you know what? I'll take it. That was a proximity bomb that I was standing on, and I survived. It only dropped me like 70 health, maybe 72, but whatever. The enemy, they're stacked up inside this cave. I'm going to try to walk up and kind of make them a little bit angry. Oh, 
there's a guy hiding over here. I'm going to immediately combat roll into cover and let my teammate take him out. I don't need to shoot him. So one of the things I notice when I'm playing with randoms, you see this cave right here. Let's take a look inside of this cave. What do we see? There's a bunch of enemies in there. There's really no reason for any of us to go running in there. We're going to die. So what I'm going to do while my teammates go run to their death is I'm going to go try and flank. But, you know, on the way, I pick up a rocket launcher. By the way, there's people with rocket launchers besides me on the map right now. Then I notice there's somebody up at top at that, so I'm going to go take him out instead. Oh, I get him. I'm going to go throw a good high on grenade and get his equipment. But look at that. I've got a thermal imploder now. And what did I just talk about with power-ups? If I have a thermal imploder, anybody else who happens to get one of them kills that gives them a power-up or somebody who picks up a coin, they're going to have a thermal imploder too because of this RNG crap that doesn't really exist in this game. RNG means random number generator. So I'm going to creep up on this guy, and I mentioned before, combat rolling gets you off of the radar. But look, I picked up a thermal imploder. What was I just talking about? Going to jetpack, throw an ion grenade, take him out. I said, take him out. Don't stop firing until you know he's dead. It'll get you killed. Anyway, thanks for the Bacta. I'm going to go ahead and keep running. I'm going to run because my teammates are over there? Nah, I don't feel like going to where my teammates are. So instead, I'm going to run to high mid because I have a thermal imploder. Don't forget... If I have one, everybody else has one. I'm going to go ahead and pick this, this coin. Now I have a prox bomb. So here's the thing about thermal imploders. If you pick up a thermal imploder, or one of your teammates does, or you hear thermal imploders going off, and you know everybody else has a thermal imploder, save your jump pack. Because really, your survivability is going to increase if you have the ability to jump pack away. These guys are pressing really hard, so I'm going to evacuate. Now remember, I dropped a prox bomb over there. Uh, fortunately for me, I remember, fortunately for that enemy, he didn't even know, so he's dead. I have no jetpack, but I have a recharge power-up, which is great. This guy, uh, he's got a head glitch on me, and I know him. I've played with him before. He's really good with that E11, so I chose to evacuate. Call me a wuss if you want, but I'm not going to give him the benefit of killing me. It's decision time, folks, and unfortunately for me, I have to make this, these decisions really fast, but fortunately for you, I can pause the video, and you can help me make the decision. So there's a guy who dropped me down to 20 health. He's got like a D817. If I try to face tank him, I'm probably going to die. So what do you do? I could jetpack one way. I could jetpack forward. It doesn't look like there's anybody behind him, so I'm going to jetpack forward, and hopefully... Get some range on him, and I'll be able to evacuate down Canyon. Let's see how well that works. All right. So there's a bad guy here, but he's not looking at me, so I can shoot him. And now I need to evacuate because I'm still at 20 health. Now I've recharged my health. I get one kill. I have to kill this guy because there's nowhere to run. I get down to 18. I manage to win the gunfight. I need to run. Now I have teammates. I have two teammates that are with me so i'm gonna kind of roll up to a little bit of a head glitch i know the enemy is still trying to press canyon because they saw an injured guy and they're gonna try and get me get this guy easily disruptor rifle people have disruptor rifles that's not as big as a deal as if people have like thermal imploder or rocket launcher because disruptor and rifles are a timing thing and it's really kind of hard to use them but just keep in mind in case there's an elite guy who's really good with the pulse cannon because those skills kind of translate anyway I'm using this crashed X-Wing fighter as like a head glitch, and uh, I dropped a little infantry turret to kind of cover my escape. So the infantry turret is going to keep people from flanking me from canyon. Problem is, there's people in caves, <laughs> and there's people behind me. So I'm a little bit surrounded. I'm going to elect to go take this guy out who appears to be by himself. I get him, and now I can evacuate underneath the AT-AT. And I have a whole lot of cover here to look for people who are going after me. This guy has damaged me by more than half my health, but he kind of runs away. Throw an ion grenade. I get a droid, luckily. I don't know how I got that droid. I didn't even know a droid was there, but it helps the team out. I was really hoping to try to pick up that scout trooper as I, after I had injured him. So there's a guy up here. I'm going to shoot at him. I get a lucky kill. That was straight up luck. I, don't even, I didn't even try to aim or anything. My aim assist, that was all aim assist pressing up using my teammates as shields there's another guy ion grenade to take out this guy you know what we're getting really close to the end of the map 87 13 kills i don't know what kind of grenade that was but i got out of the way of the grenade i got really no business pushing with only 40 health but i keep doing it i jetpack out of the way because those guys were kind of pushing our line and our lines were intermingled so i needed to get out of there 
I scare that guy off the top of the hill. Now I have dropped my infantry turret. It's facing behind me. It's going to help cover people behind me. We have 93 kills. It's almost over. I'm flawless. There's a guy over there. I'm going to kind of harass him, but there's people behind me too. So which way am I going to go? Let's go ahead and press. And hopefully there's not going to be anybody over here. 94 kills. Got our jump, jump pack. And I see teammates behind me, so I'm turning around because I know there's no enemy behind me. There's no enemy behind me because my teammates are behind me. I got rid of that useless blaster cannon. Now I have a card refresh. So this card refresh is going to help me out. This opens up a whole lot of options for me. I'm flawless. 97 kills. I'm saving my jump pack to escape death. That's, that's the key there. You got to be able to escape death. 99 kills. This game is as good as over. But nobody seems to want to get the last kill. So I'm going to jump back up here. Uh-oh. They're all over there. They're going to shoot me. Recharge. Throw the iron grenade for the win. And I get a three-piece. Look at that. There's a flawless. There you go. 34 and 0. It's definitely one of my better flawlesses. Uh, 34 kills is a lot considering I had no deaths. Most of the time I'm running away and avoiding conflict when I notice that I have a flawless. But anyway, let me know what you think of this kind of video. Leave a comment down in the comment section. Let me know what you think of this production. If you're interested in seeing more videos inside the Mina Salsa Diaz. But that's all the time I have for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Adios.